All right, so there is this estate sale today. The signs were on the on the corner, and uh, it had my address on it. And I was very shocked. And I thought, well, maybe my kids are stating my stuff off. They think I'm dead. Then you know I had to send them back, and then I would be in the state pen till I was dead. But uh, actually, the people put the wrong address on the sign because I looked it up on the internet, and it was a, a different address. And they used uh, like washable markers to make their signs and stuff. And it was a two-day estate sale, which means someone has passed away, and they are getting rid of everything, and usually they divide it up amongst the family members through a designated uh, CPA and um, somebody who's in charge of distributing the will benefits. Uh, so, I don't normally like estate sales because the times I've gone to them, I went to several in Arkansas, The people die there all day long. It's the water. It has lead in it. Uh, I know that for a fact. But anyway, um, they're usually terrible overpriced, and um, uh, I like the house. It's a quaint little house. Wouldn't mind having that. It's kind of small, but it's quaint. I like it in a good area. But anyway, so what appalls me is someone has died, and there's a bunch of big old heavy women that are out on the front porch breaking pieces off of plants, if you can believe this. Breaking pieces off of dead people's plants. Now the house uh, is going up for sale. Um, they're not gonna rent it or anything, I asked. I did inquire because of it. I would like to have that house, but I would have to rent it first before I bought it to see that everything was functioning unless it was some incredible deal but um, it appalls me to see people that didn't spend a penny up there in that estate sale uh, and are out on the porch breaking one foot long pieces off of plants on the front porch and I mean there was like six women out there doing that they didn't even ask because I, I let the lady know that this in charge of the sale which I figured it was her mother's house or something and um, uh, she said that they hadn't asked her permission or anything so these people went to an estate sale to not spend a penny but go break a bunch of plants up and trash up the landscape when it wasn't even theirs there's a special place in hell for people like that you have respect for the deceased but, um, that was appalling. Uh, but anyway, I did let them know that their sign had my address on it. <laughs> and, uh, one of their signs. And, uh, uh, they did apologize. <laughs> they had, like, two or three people making the signs, I guess. And, uh, somebody wrote the wrong address on the signs, but on the internet it has a different address. So, um, they've got what's left of an estate sale that is at 215 Hughes Street, and um, really all that's left, today's last day, is in Fort Walton. Um, all that's left is some very beautiful, beautiful wood furniture, really cheap. Um, I would love to have the white leather couch that's there. Um, I just have so much stuff. Um, there's a little bit of cookware and some knick-knacky stuff and some very beautiful embroidered and crocheted stuff. And uh, today's the last day. They'll finish it when the people finish coming. And uh, it will be 25% off whatever the price is marked. Um, 
So, uh, you might want to check it out. I picked out a couple, a couple pieces of crystal and a couple pots myself, actually. Um, they weren't too bad price. Uh, you can buy stuff really cheap in Florida at some of these secondhand stores, so I don't like to spend a lot of money shopping around unless it's something pretty special. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you know, so you guys have a great day.